Welcome back everybody to your MySQL Stored Procedures and Functions series. And just so you guys know, me and my wife are just chilling at my parents' house where I make my videos, and we forgot every essential that we'd ever need, including our suitcase and my microphone. <laughs> so if the audio is a little whack, I'm sorry, but we'll try to get uh, our microphone sometime soon. But for now, I'll just get started, hopefully it's not too bad. The very first thing, guys, is I wanted to introduce you to a very awesome tool. This is called SQL Fiddle, and you can find it at sqlfiddle.com. And what this does is it allows you to type SQL commands and use multiple different database types. But you don't have to download anything, and it's really cool because once you type something up, you can actually save it and you can send it as a link to somebody to show. So to start, we're going to build a simple database over here on the schema panel. So to begin, we're going to create a table, and with SQL Fiddle, you don't have to say create database or anything, you can just start with your table. So we can just say create table, and then give it a name, and we'll just call it pets. We're going to make a little table for pets and list their names and their owners and cool stuff like that. Now within parentheses is where we put all of the columns that we want in this table. So the very first column you're going to want is an ID, we'll also have a name, owner, sex, birth, that's going to be the day they were born, and then we're going to have a death. And this is not the correct way you're want to, going to want to do this, I just wanted to write out the columns. So the next thing we're going to need to do is put the, the data types. So we're going to have an int, var, char, and then you can give an amount, so how many characters you want it to be able to store, let's go with 50. And owner, in a more complex database, you might have another table that has a list of owners and you might have this as a foreign key. But for now, this is okay, so we're gonna have that as a varchar as well. Sex, we're gonna make that a character, just one character. So we're just assuming either M or F. Birth, that's going to be a date. Same for death. That's not quite all we need to do though. We need to go back and we need to go a little bit more in detail for this ID. We need to tell it that this is going to be a primary key. And that's going to keep everything unique. It's just going to be a generated number. The auto increment keyword is going to make the database automatically increase the number of the ID without us having to worry about it. So when we insert data into this database, we don't have to worry about giving it an ID explicitly. It'll just do it itself. So a couple other things I want to add. I think I'm going to throw in a species here. Let's do it after the owner. And we'll make that Varchar as well, or Varkar, however you want to pronounce it. And another thing, I'm just going to uh, put some of this stuff on a new line so it's easier to read without having to scroll over. And it should work just fine. So that is our table. And just so you guys can see how SQL Fiddle works, we create our table and we can just click Build Schema. So we've created our database and now we actually want to insert data into our database. Well, where do we do that? Do we do this on the Schema panel or the Query panel? Well, I can tell you ahead of time that we're going to want to do it over here on the schema panel. That's because in SQL there's two types of languages. Here, I'll just write them out here so you can see them. There's DDL and DML. And that's data definition language and data manipulation language. I think I have some videos over this in my database design course. But for now, data manipulation language includes insert statements where we put data into our table and all of data definition language and data manipulation language is going to go over here in our schema panel. And it's really easy to figure that out because here, like if we build this schema and then we do an insert over here, you can see down here DDL and DML statements are not allowed in the query panel for MySQL. Only select statements are allowed. Put DDL and DML in the schema panel. So that needs to go over here. So we are going to create some data and put it inside of our table. The very first thing you're going to want to do is give this semicolon so that way we can put multiple statements in this schema window. So to put data into the table, we use an insert command. And because this is a new command, I'm just going to put that at the beginning. And then you can say into and name the table that you want to put the data into. And that's going to be pets. Then what you're going to do is put parentheses, and here you're going to define all of the columns that you want to put data into. So we could put an ID here, but like I said, the database is going to worry about that for us. So we are going to go ahead and put every other column in here, 
And in this situation, I didn't mark any of these as not null, but if you want to force somebody to put data in one of these, you can just put a, a not null uh, keyword there and it should work just fine. But it's really not that big of a deal because we're just kind of playing around with some SQL here. So we're going to put name, owner, species, sex, birth, and death. And then what you need to do is put values parentheses. And here is where we pass in the values. And sometimes it's helpful if, if you get confused on how many is just to kind of put the commas in ahead of time. So first let's look at the data types. We have name, owner, species, sex, birth, and death. Those are all going to be stored as strings, or we're going to need to give it strings. So that's going to be the name, that's going to be the owner, that's going to be the species, sex, birth, and death. And yes, you do pass in dates as strings. As I mentioned earlier, this owner might be a foreign key to another table. And if that's the case, you're probably not going to use a string, but an integer. And if that's a situation, you just leave that like that, so you know you need to put an integer in there because you put the ID of whatever owner it is. So to begin, let's give it a name. Let's say Snowflake, the owner, just a little girl named Ewin, because she can't say her R's yet. <laughs> Species, uh, let's say it's a robo hamster. And for the birth, the format you're going to want to use is year, month, date. Same for the death, but we'll just leave that null and for nulls, we don't want to put that in a string or it'll be stored as a string that has null, which isn't going to work for the date data type. So that should be good for that. But how do you give it another row? Well, you can just put a comma and then you can give it another parentheses. Cuddles, owner Frank, this is going to be a kitty. Oh, poor guy, he only lived one day. Oh, I think that's everything. I don't think I screwed anything up, so let's give it a try. Okay, unknown column, birth, and field list. What did I screw up? Bith, that would explain it. <laughs> and there you go, we made our database. That's why SQL Fiddle is really pretty cool because we don't have to worry about actually creating that database and making a table. If I wanna change something, I can just type it in here and then build a schema and then boom, you're good to go. But obviously you need to make sure you have correct syntax. So now over here we can give our commands and that's what we're going to be doing in the next video now that we have our database and table created. So thanks guys, be sure to subscribe and I'll see you guys then. Thanks, bye.